Hello, I'm Nick Paradiso. I'm Conair's product manager for their conveying product line, and I'm here to talk about AutoWave. Conair has been developing AutoWave for quite some time now, and we're ready to release this technology to the market. What AutoWave allows us to do is it allows us to take feedback from a wave conveying system and automatically keep the system not only within phase, but optimize the system moving forward. I've just put up on the screen a cross-sectional view of our wave valve. You can get this information if you read our first patent on wave conveying, but I illustrate this to show the mechanical components that we are modulating with AutoWave to be able to optimize the wave conveying phase. We first have a servo valve, and this is able to be 0% to 100% full bore, uh, modulate the amount and adjust the amount of air we allow to enter the system. We also have a pulse valve, and with this pulse valve is we're breaking that deep vacuum state to be able to allow them, the pellets to pick up into the line and then keep them moving nice and slow depending on which phase that we're going to be in. I show on the screen now a schematic that shows a vacuum pump that supplies vacuum to a receiver, that receiver is plumbed back to a material source, and that material source has a wave valve um, to be able to operate in wave conveying. In this specific case, we, we're operating in wave stream. For AutoWave, we show a speed or a phase monitor, depending on what application we're looking at. And we also have a pressure monitor. We take the feedback of both the phase that we're in and the material speed, they're linked together, I'll explain that later, and also the pressure sensor, and we tie that back into our smart FLX system to be able to understand what phase we're in and then furthermore adjust and send outputs to that wave valve to modulate and optimize the conveying system moving forward. So what does AutoWave allow us to do? What this does is it keeps the system balanced. It not only keeps it within phase, and that's very important because wave conveying technology to date has been a very manual process where you'd set up a, a certain recipe for a receiver, you'd set up your servo valve percentage, you set up your, your pulse, your material and air pulsing to optimize what phase you'd like to be in. And, and, and up to this date, it's been set it and forget it. AutoWave now takes feedback from additional variables to be able to understand where the system is and keep that system within phase. So there's two benefits to this. It not only optimizes throughput and keeps you in, in the most optimal wave stream setting or wave pulse setting with respect to satisfying your material consumer that sits below your receiver, but it also keeps the system balanced where you never have to run out of balance again, you'll never plug a line again, and you'll never have to worry about is my, is my conveying system operating properly with wave conveying? Uh, to show a quick example of this is uh, it's automatic material to air, air ratio um, adjustments. So if you have a receiver and that receiver is hooked up through a manifold or through a common line, and then you go to convey to a receiver that's farther away, in this specific case, we'll say 325 feet away, when you go to convey to that receiver, the variables of your pneumatic conveying system are different, especially if you're in wave conveying, because again, this isn't dilute phase where it's just convey as fast as you can, get it to the receiver and, and move on to the next receiver. Wave conveying is in a deep vacuum state and it's in a, and it's in a controlled and controlled environment that really relies heavily on that wave valve being set up properly. If bulk densities are going to vary, if a leak starts to enter your system, or if anything is going to happen that causes your system to get unstable outside of phase, outside of wave stream, or outside of wave pulse, there's an unstable region that could potentially occur. And when that happens, big slugs pull through your line and you're not optimized and you could potentially starve a machine or have problems. AutoWave prevents that from happening by monitoring the system in real time always and then sending adjustments back to that wave valve based on what's going on and what it's seeing. What I show in the middle of the screen is a phase monitor. So if AutoWave is hooked up to a wave conveying system on the smart FLX control, you have the, the ability to look down and understand what phase your system is in. If you want to operate in wave, in wave pulse, you, you simply select the button of pulse and the system will automatically adjust itself to put it into wave pulse. Or if you want to operate in wave stream or dilute phase, the system is able to go through and adjust the valve accordingly to what you're looking to do. Once you select a phase, then the system starts to learn itself. We're taking in feedback of how many peaks and valleys we're seeing of resin uh, passing by our proximity sensor in the phase monitor. We're also monitoring pressure at the same time. And we have substantial testing and data to be able to put together algorithms to optimize and modify the system to be in peak performance for every single conveying cycle. What I show here 
is a throughput uh, being optimized. So we, uh, we've done a bunch of testing, and this is just one of those examples where when a system was first put into wave stream, we were able to run 2,500 pounds an hour at, I believe this was at 1,000 feet. We show on the x-axis of this illustration load cycles, and on the y-axis is throughput. As the load cycle starts to start to go up utilizing auto wave technology, notice how the, the throughput overall is being optimized. When you're in wave stream in this specific case for this data set, you're in a uh, that middle ground between dilute phase and wave pulse. So there's a pretty big window there where you can start to get adjustments by playing around with your pump hertz to be able to change the CFM and the speed of the of the resin or changing the phase and the density of the line, I should say. Uh, with respect to some of those wave valve parameters. Wave stream, you can get optimized only to a certain point. And if you go too far, you fall down into an unstable region, uh, like I just talked about. When you're in that unstable region, you start to see pulses and you start to have issues. So we're able to monitor that, back off that servo valve, let a little bit more air into the system to break out of unstable, and then start to optimize down back uh, down towards that optimal wave stream phase. While we're doing that, the system is going to continue to learn itself. When you're conveying to receiver one, it learns what receiver one's capabilities are, or, or I should say variables are. If you start to convey down farther away, longer conveying distances, if your material changes, if your bulk density changes over time, if you develop a leak in the system in it, and it starts to, to, to require more of adjustments at that pickup point to overcome the vacuum leak that's in the system, AutoWave is going to do that for you automatically, where wave conveying to date has been a, a, manual, a manual setup process to get the system in phase. AutoWave technology allows for the feedback of system parameters to run back, run through our algorithm, and then push off to the wave valve and the pump hertz to optimize the conveying phase of uh, whatever you have set up in the system.